Hello everyone, welcome back to the Plan on It YouTube channel. We are going to be doing a series about household products and whether or not you should be using them on your plants. Spoil alert! Just, Just stop, stop it. it! Stop! No! Please. Uh, so the first one in this series is hydrogen peroxide which seems to be the magical cure-all for all the things, and that's just a lie. If anything's a magical cure-all for all the things, then it's a lie. So um, let's talk about hydrogen peroxide and what hydrogen peroxide is. It's two hydrogen molecules and two oxygen molecules that come together to form H2O2. Hmm, what does H2O2 sound like? H2O. H2O. What's H2O? It's water. So basically, Hydrogen peroxide is extra oxygenated water and it's super unstable. So if it comes in contact with organic matter or your skin, which is why it bubbles, or anytime you see it's bubbling, it's degrading, essentially. And um, it doesn't like light, which is why it's in dark bottles. If you wanted to stop watching this video at this point, like you can, because you just learned everything you need to know, but we're gonna go into more detail. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that it claims is that it adds, you know, it aerates the soil, adding more oxygen to it, which I guess people got from the bubbling, like you said, but that's literally just it degrading. Um, it doesn't make any pressure to actually make any air sockets for the plant to get oxygen. Um, your best alternative is literally just taking a chopstick or, you know, anything and making holes throughout your soil. Uh, usually you would want to do this after you water. Um, you know, people do it with your grass. If you have grass, you know, lawn care people, they'll literally put on some, some spiky boots and walk around your soil to prevent thatch and um, uh, compaction. Another claim is that it's a disinfectant, and for the most part that claim is true. It does disinfect, but it's not necessarily efficient because if there's any organic matter left on your tools, like dirt or plant stuff or juice, it's gonna break down. So you want to clean it before you use it, but then like, why are you gonna clean it and then use hydrogen peroxide on it when you could just pour alcohol and bleach on it and then, oh look, it's perfectly fine. So here in the store, we are always disinfecting our blades all the time and we just use 70% alcohol. We either pour it on or we put it on a wipe and just wipe down our blades before we use it. Commercial greenhouses and stuff also, um, they probably have like just stronger strength stuff because you know, you just can't can't um, risk any sort of virus or anything going around. So they use something stronger and bleach is a good alternative as well, but I don't like the way bleach spells so you use alcohol. Another claim is that it cures root rot, which isn't, I mean, we've just heard like it deteriorates as soon as it hits organic matter. And root rot would be just, lower. And like she said also, it's just water. It's extra oxygenated water. So you're adding water to a problem that was caused by water. So like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> your best alternative is to use Fizan, especially for your root rot. And if you have like a copper rot, your copper fungicide. And then along those lines that you cure it's like any sort of fungal issues. And for the most part, like if I see fungus on my soil, I really don't freak out. No, um, it means it's healthy soil. No, it means it's healthy. I actually have a video which I'll link about um, fungus in soil and why it's good. So I won't go on to that, but you know, a lot of people think it kills fungus, but it doesn't, you know? Like, by the time it gets down to any sort of fungus towards the bottom, it's already broken down. And if there's any fungus on the surface, it is beneficial fungus. So you really, you know, want to pat yourself on the back if you get that. Yeah, it's like you, you kept your soil nice yeah. and healthy. But um, if there is anything that you want to, you know, if you don't like fungus, which I love fungus. Yeah, I like fungus too. Like when a little mushroom pops mm -hmm. out of the soil, I'm like, oh, it's a mushroom right here, you can't see it. Friend. But you can use Fizan if you want to yeah. kill mushrooms, then you're a murderer. Speaking of good for your soil, yes. a lot of people <laughs> think that it, um, you know, peroxide actually uh, disinfects your soil, which while that is, can be true, um, it's also bad for that because it kills everything in your soil. It'll kill the good um, microbes and the microorganisms and you won't have a live soil anymore, it'll be dead. Um, not only have you gotten rid of the bad um, organisms and, you know, and fungus. This, um, we should say it refers to like soaking your soil. Yes, yeah, not just like the spraying, like no. you said, with um, the water yeah. dilute. No, like straight, just peroxide, yeah. letting it soak and then dry out. Yeah, um, a lot of, along with like baking it, 
like that also yeah, kills, it kills everything. everything. So there's a lot of claims out there that uh, hydrogen peroxide can boost CP germination, and those aren't true. Um, and the experiments that they've done, they haven't really noticed a difference whether or not it speeds seed germination and sometimes it just kills the seed. So why would you want to play with fire or hydrogen peroxide in this case and see whether or not your seeds are going to germinate? Um, another thing is that it fertilizes plants, which I don't know where this came from. Just like you said, it needs an NPK value yeah. and it's literally just hydrogen and oxygen, which your plants don't even need oxygen. Yeah. They produce ox oxygen. And like there's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which are also chemicals or are like on the periodic yeah. table, but they are not in H2O. Yeah, at all. So yeah. there's no there's no <laughs> food in hydrogen peroxide. No, Instead, no. you would actually want to buy a fertilizer like Jack's fertilizer, which we carry, or, or liquid dirt. Liquid dirt, which just adds in those um, nutrients. nutrients that keep your soil alive. <laughs> and then another claim is that it boosts root growth, and that is really just not true at all. There have been some experiments, and most of these experiments were done with food crops, and like rice and corn and, and stuff, because if you can make more food crop and speed up the process, then that you know helps solve world hunger. And my great grandfather actually was the first to hybridize corn and soy, really, and because he wanted to solve world hunger. So like my family is all about all like about the food it. crop, and so they did a bunch of experiments with hydrogen uh, peroxide and seeing if it boosts uh, root growth so plants can grow faster, or rice in this case, and it killed the rice roots. <laughs> so that's, that's like the opposite of solving world hunger. Another claim is that it repels or kills insects. And I mean, like we said, it's mainly water. So that's just adding water to the insect and I don't know how or when a wa you know, water would propel or kill an insect. I mean, some people will spray their plants down regularly in the shower for like spider mites, but the spider mites come back because yeah. water doesn't repel anything. And, and then they, they come back with a resistance. It them them away, but it's not <laughs> yeah, doing like, anything to and repel them. And like, there's really nothing you can put on your plants to repel. No, it's more like, you have plants, you're gonna deal with yeah. your, your, your You're bugs. gonna have bugs. If you have plants, you got bugs. It's like, um, so yeah, so that's why you should not use hydrogen peroxide. All of this is science-based fact. It's not like internet viral crap. They say it's a cure-all, it's yeah. not a cure-all. Nothing cures everything. No, no, no. So, and, and that's in life, period. No. Nothing cures anything. Uh, so. Except plant therapy. Plant therapy does cure everything. It cures everything. It me. Does. Yeah. Got bad grades, it's fine. I got a plant. Uh, so we're gonna go through different other household products in these series. And we're gonna and be screaming at you to just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop using them. And you know, like just keep it in your cabinet. There's better ways. And like if like let's say you're using it to get rid of bugs, you're gonna be more successful with an actual pesticide. Yeah, with an actual product. Like it's just how it is. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. There's a bell somewhere over here. I don't know where it is, but somewhere. you're gonna subscribe to it. If you haven't subscribed, we're doing these weekly. We're trying to do these weekly, and we're trying to do. We have big pit, big pages, <laughs> lots of pages, <laughs> long list, long list of videos we're gonna do for you. And um, so this is just the first in the series. What other household products are we gonna talk about? You know, you'll have to see. You'll have to see. We know what they are. <laughs> um, if you have any other questions or want us to cover anything, also comment that below. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's it. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.